Good morning. Today we're here at Target. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so since we come into Target here, I wanted to point out that they are coming out with these, I don't know, these small bottles of Similac formula. I noticed two brands here. Uh, 360 total care this is from Abbott laboratories which some people are asking about uh, we heard that they are going to be back opening on the news the other day um, they do have some of the sensitive this was the big one this was the one that people were looking for um, we got a lot of uh, comments and emails uh, we you know, that's why we've been checking this out we've been getting a lot of people reach out to us um, I tried to find some online the other day and everywhere I looked look like it was really backed up they do have something coming in here you see where i saw this okay yeah kenda mill formula will start to arrive in the coming weeks with continued shipments arriving over the next month to learn more visit target.com target has added more water to this i don't know why they did it like this it kind of looks tacky but you know i don't know i mean i guess filling in the space but they do have some of this Similac Alimentum, which has been what we have found in most stores. This is what most stores are getting right now. First time I've seen these little six packs, uh, the Sensitive and whatever that brand is. So I'm going to be honest with you, before buying something like this, I would check with your pediatrician. I'm not even really sure what this is. I do know that this is the Sensitive Formula that they carry of the Similac, but this, it says 360 total care, but it doesn't say what it is. I'm sure, I mean, it has directions of, or stuff of what's in it, but yeah, I don't know. For either one of these, I would definitely ask your doctor first. Okay, so I was standing here in the baby formula aisle and a lady comes up here practically in tears that she can't find any of the formula that her, it's her friend's baby. They're, they're all searching the city they have been up north west east and i was explaining to her you know what we're doing trying to find you know all the formulas but you know they, they can't find the one that she needs and they're scared to give the baby something different she's four months old and they don't um you know they're, they're going with a more healthier plant-based option that they don't have i actually uh you know <laughs> like i said i don't know i would check check with your doctor for anything they had one thing of this organic happy baby but she's so nervous to give her child something that uh that they haven't given her especially at four months and it, you know these are the same sad stories that we're hearing all the time and um you know i'm sorry it's uh that's rough you know and uh they need to fix this and they need to fix it fast so as i was making my way over to the groceries as we will here eventually that kind of that's why I should never go to that aisle first. I should always save that for last, I guess. But I don't know. I'm glad I did. I was able to talk to that lady for a little while. And, you know, it's a bad situation. But with other things that are low with pet food, I did want to point out that the cat food fancy feast did go up here from 80 cents to 85 cents. It does look like they have a little more than they had the last time we were here, which is good. But this has been something else that's been really low. And now we're, we're hearing some problems. Uh... Friskies is still the same price, 65 cents. That's good. Uh, some issues, we've had some comments of Chewy.com them not being able to fill orders. So I do recommend always trying to get it from Chewy.com because we've been having problems in the stores. Another major issue that we are having is people have been saying cat litter has kind of been going out the door again. We are seeing the same things happen that happened about four or five months ago. All the same products seem to be going away again. You know, the funny thing is that months ago, we were coming to Target to get all of our pet food because there was no pet food in any of the stores. Now it seems like it is starting to hit Target as well. These big cans of pedigree here were $1.59, now they're $1.79. Everything's going up, guys. I, I have noticed that a lot of the pet food has gone up within the last week or two. We noticed that when we were at Kroger the other day. So I was coming toward the back for their seasonal stuff here. I noticed they got these little grow kits here. I thought this was kind of cool. Um, seems a little expensive for a little tiny grow kit, but organic microgreens grow kit. Uh, I, 
kind of think it kind of makes it easy for you. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Organic mushroom mini grow kit. You know, something simple you can do in your house. And if you're looking for seeds, Target still has all these vegetables. They got flowers too, but these are the Fairy Morse Organic. Which we've gotten a lot of good comments on. Of course, they are non-GMO. I believe they're all non-GMO. But they got a lot of stuff here left. Some carrots. Cantaloupe. Oh, that's funny. I haven't seen that one. Got some different uh, herbs. That's what I'm talking about. You can grow your own tomatoes, watermelon, corn on the cob, everything. Wow, I'm surprised they still got it. Usually this stuff is wiped out. Let's take advantage of it while they got it. Got some of the Burpee brand herbs here. Got some comments on these. are only $1.69 a pack. Um, yeah, I mean, they've gone up too, but at least they have them. You can get some basil, uh, chives, garlic, cilantro, chili peppers. Pretty cool. I feel like for some of the prices of these gardening tools, you would probably be better off going to Home Depot. They don't really have much. They, you know what? People did buy up all the shovels, though. I don't see any of the big shovels left. Those were a pretty good deal. Uh, Fiskers, well, Home Depot does sell Fiskers. That's a pretty decent brand, I guess. $18 for both of those, though. Seems a bit extreme. But uh, who knows? Might be more at Home Depot. I really don't know. Got a... Uh, I don't know. Got some cool stuff. But, yeah, it's getting less and less because season is... Uh, well, we're in June. Okay, so I know on camera that this may look like they've got a lot of stuff, but let me tell you, they are really spreading this stuff out. There's a lot missing. It really is. I hate to see this. We saw, you know, Target during the times, you know, four or five months ago when the stores were pretty much empty around here. Target did a good job of keeping a lot of stuff in. It does seem like it is starting to take effect at Target here. Now, we've seen a lot of empty shelves around Cincinnati, Ohio in the last few weeks. We've seen more and more things every week kind of leave the shelves. But that could be in part of maybe they're rebranding it or something or a different contract, probably raising the prices. But yeah, they're really kind of just scattering this stuff about here. You can kind of tell because this is not where this stuff normally goes. Look like they finally raised the prices of the Ritz crackers. $379 here now. Now these were $279 a little while ago, but that could have been wrong because it took them a long time to get their sticker changed. Uh, $379, that's the highest we've seen. Regular price, $359 at Kroger. Kroger's until tonight, actually, so you don't have much time, but they do have a digital coupon for the Ritz crackers for $279 this week but again that ends uh tuesday night here june 7th so you guys will be seeing this video on june 7th so uh if you can get to kroger's within the next few hours you can get that digital coupon and uh save a buck yeah i don't know guys this is probably the lowest i've seen target in a long time you know even some months ago we did see where a lot of the shelves were empty at target too but not this much this is so a lot of the snack packs that people have asked about in the past, it's been a little while, but I remember people uh, like goldfish. We weren't able to find any goldfish. At least they still are getting in some of the regulars. But as you can see here, a lot of the snack crackers and stuff like that, some of the Ritz peanut butter, um, the Keebler cheddar crackers, stuff like that. These were the things that were hard to get in when we were, everything was gone back in November. Um, and it's, it's all the same. All the usual suspects seem to be going out the door again, except for Cheez-Its. I've been seeing Cheez-Its everywhere. Yeah, something I just noticed here. Doritos is up again. $4.69 for a regular size bag of Doritos. That is absolutely insane. I am, I am uh, not getting Doritos. Forget it. I'm not paying that much. Um, you know, I love Doritos as much as everybody else. I went from... $349 to $399 a little over a month, uh, almost two months ago. Now $469. $469, that is crazy. I mean, and that makes Lay's look cheap now. $399, people are buying it because it's $399. I mean, it looks like people are buying Doritos too. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, it does look like it's pretty well stocked. And when would you have ever thought that Ruffles would be cheaper than Doritos? Look at this. Party sizes, $5.99 a bag. 
$5.99. Let's see how much of a difference that is. Okay, so, I mean, I bet you it's not even much of a difference. Okay, 14 and a half ounces for $5.99. So the regular size, nine and a quarter ounces. You know what's funny is I think this has actually shrunk. I think this was 10 ounces or a little more, something weird, like 10.3 10 ounces or something. But this is 9.25 ounces, okay? And the other one is 14 ounces. So you are getting five more ounces for an extra dollar thirty one, But, <laughs> you know, it's just, that's crazy. So I do feel like Gatorade or the stores are really trying to push these eight packs because these have stayed the same price. These have been $5.99 at Target here for a long time. They actually have a sale until the end of tonight. I don't know. That may stay on sale. You can get these for $5.50 at Kroger. So not much of a savings, but a savings. And they do have the shrinkflated Gatorade, $1.39 a piece. Uh, that's about what they are at Kroger, too. Kroger always seems to have a sale on Gatorade. Um, but, yeah, they had like three for four, which would have made it $1.34 a piece. So I don't know, but I feel like they're really pushing these because this seems like the better option. Actually, the best deal is Sam's Club. You get 24 of the 20 ounces for $14.88, making those 62 cents a piece. It's a good deal. Okay, at first glance here on the coffee, the only sales that I see are their Good & Gather brand. We've gotten mixed reviews on the coffee, the Good & Gather coffee. Uh, two for $12 makes these six uh ground coffee 12 ounces when you buy two two for 12 what is this then see what i mean these my these stickers are different but i would go buy this one because that makes them six bucks a piece yeah looks like target's pulling the uh old switcheroo here this was all folders all of it now they have it down here oh my goodness Matter of fact, our coffee's kind of getting wiped out. Let's see. 14 Gourmet Supreme. Is that what that is? No? Folgers Decaf. 1449. That is the highest we've seen it anywhere. 1449. They don't even have the decaf. Does look like Target has gotten to all their stickers because it seems like everything we're looking at has gone up in price. Party size of the Cafe Bastillo. We have gotten some comments on it. Fifteen sixty nine is not the cheapest we've seen. I think the cheapest was Walmart, but that price could have been wrong too. Sixteen ninety nine for this at Kroger, so that is a better deal. And there are no other sales here on coffee except for the Good and Gather. Um, probably not the place to get coffee this week. Uh, Pete's Coffee, seventeen twenty nine for twenty two pods. Wow, that's nuts. Now, Kroger's had some deals on coffee. We'll have to check when we go to uh, Kroger on Wednesday. Um, but they had some sales that will be ending tonight. So if you can get to a Kroger's by tonight, they had Pete's Coffee on sale and they had some other ones. Not Folgers, though. We get a lot of comments about Folgers. Haven't seen Folgers on sale in a while, except for Meyer. Um, but I believe that sale ended for Meyer. So we'll have to check that out when we get there. So we've been seeing cereal take a major hit in a lot of the stores around us. Um, they do have a lot missing, but I got to say, they do have more than I thought they were going to. Uh, Raisin Brand did shoot up here to $3.99 for a regular 16-ounce box. Uh, wait a minute. It's a little smaller. Nope, 16.6-ounce .6 box. Okay, just making sure it was the same size there. Really, if you're going to pay $3.99 for that, you might as well get the family size here. It's only $4.29, which is still high. This was the one that was $3.99 forever, and this is a 24-ounce. So we've been seeing that the Quaker Oats have shot back up at Kroger, uh, the 42-ounce thing of them here, to $6.99 at Kroger. $4.59 here. But again, I would take that with a grain of salt. Always take a picture of something that you have in question and take it up to the register because they have to give it to you for that price. I did get a lot of good comments on the Good & Gather Old Fashioned Oats. Same thing, 42 ounces, um, $2.59, so that's really cheap. That's about the same price as it is at Aldi. I did want to show, too, somebody had asked about the Quaker Grits, the quick five-minute grits. Haven't seen these in forever. $2.19 here. More importantly, they got them. Been a while since somebody asked about that, but this is the first time I've seen them in a long time. 
So we have gotten some comments that some of the tacos and burritos have been low in a lot of your stores across the country here. Not as much of an issue around here, but we have seen that it's been lower in some places, mostly Kroger, surprisingly. Um, they do have some of the old El Paso different options here. Somebody asked about the nacho cheese tacos there. They got them here. $2.99, though, sounds a little cheap. Uh, we've seen them for $3.99, and Target has had issues with changing stickers, so... Like I said, make sure you take a picture of it. Anything in question. They do have a lot of the good and gather uh, refried beans. Uh, some other options here. Some of the old El Paso, Goya. Multiple different seasonings. Got some different sauces here. That is one thing I like about going to different stores is you can find different brands of like sauces and stuff like that. Try some new stuff. We did see where rice aroni was on sale at Kroger for a dollar a box. I doubt that will be after today, but... Yeah, it was a good deal there for a while. We bought up some of them. Also, the Ben's Ready Rice. You notice how there's not many here? That's because people are coming here and buying it up because it's been $2.49 at Kroger, $2.39 at Meyer. I mean, this just keeps going up in price. This is a favorite with a lot of people, and they know it. They know it. That's why it's been getting expensive because, you know, people keep buying, you know, supply and demand, I guess. But, they, you know, as long as we keep buying it up, they're going to keep charging more, unfortunately. The spice war continues in Cincinnati, Ohio. Been seeing lots of, you know, at least they got salt. We, we saw there for a while there was no salt, so I'm glad to see that coming back in. But, you know, a lot of spices are missing here as they are in a lot of other stores. Now, we've seen some stores fill back up, like Meyer did a few weeks ago, and then we saw where Meyer was low again. I, it's like, I don't know, I guess, uh, you know, Kroger's was near out of spices there a few weeks ago, so. Uh, you know, people are having to go to other stores. People have been having a lot of problems finding jasmine rice lately. Um, you know, we haven't had that much of an issue. I don't know what size this is here. Because uh, if it's two fifty nine for one pound, okay, it's two pounds. Two pounds for two fifty nine. So, yeah, that's that's a decent deal comparatively speaking. Okay, so when it comes to the canned vegetables. I'm going to say me and Jess try. I meant to put it in with a video, but we didn't get to it. Um, we tried a couple of the Good and Gather canned vegetables. They were okay. Not great. I would pretty much, I would pick Kroger brand over them. I would pick Aldi Happy Harvest brand over them. Or uh, the Great Value Walmart brand. Uh, 59 cents a can. Keeps them right about the same price as all the other store brands but i don't know i just i didn't care i would probably not buy them again and this is why i tell you when you're at target you always need to take a picture when you have something in question this would be the cheapest craft mayo that we have seen in months however this price as we know who's been watching the channel for a while this has been 379 for months and they still haven't changed the sticker 319 you know it feels very weird in here today I don't know what it is just it just does not feel look at how thrown together this is i mean everything usually target is stacked nice and neat and it just seems like all this has been thrown in here and i gotta admit starting off this video with the baby formula i probably should have waited to the end of the video but i'm glad i did it when i did i was able to talk to that lady and uh, it was good to talk to her and get someone else's perspective on the baby formula and and frankly you know people trying to find it and going from store to store and I, I also told her I said maybe you should make some phone calls you know so that you're not spending the gas and you know she said she was going to do that but this looked weird I mean <laughs> it just this does not look like Target and, and I would say well maybe they're rearranging stuff well if they were it still wouldn't be hanging down like that like I don't know they still have that ketchup for $2.79 that's been $3.79 actually it went up to $3.99, I think, at Kroger. And uh, some people were saying it's gone up to $4.29. So, I don't know. I will say, if you're having trouble finding spaghetti, the Good & Gather brand is pretty good. It is pretty good. You get one pound, 95 cents. All spaghetti's gone up. Uh, I don't even know if there is. Maybe at Walmart. I don't know if there is any for a dollar anymore. But we've tried the Good & Gather. It is pretty good. Uh, the Wow, Barilla went up to $1.99. That's crazy. They were $1.80, the same price as Kroger. Kroger's might have went up too, though. We're going to have to check here in a couple days. Uh, they do have the Rayo sauce. Man, look how tiny this is. What the heck? Oh, this is the pizza sauce. 
Okay, not the spaghetti sauce. I was going to say, like, wow, that's pretty small. These are all pizza sauces. Okay, here's the... Wow, I just noticed... I just noticed they don't have they don't have the sauce over there anymore. They used to have pasta sauce there and here. Now it's just this. Whoa. Maybe they were moving some stuff around. I don't know. Wow, they got a lot less uh, spaghetti sauce than they normally do. That is crazy. They do have the Bertoli. Got a lot of comments on that lately. They do have a lot of the Good and Gather brand. Of course, that's their brand. Uh, we haven't tried any of the pasta sauce of the of the Good and Gather. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these and let me know uh, what you thought about them. How do they not see this? So these are $1.99 a can. They have had this on here for months. Same as that mayo. I don't know what it is. Are they not able to print the stickers or something? I mean, by this point, I would just scratch this out and put $1.99. So, you know, it's like, I mean, I hope that people are getting up to the register and saying something about it because I would hate to get all the way home and realize that I just paid the wrong price. If you take this to one of the scanners though, it will say $1.99. They did end up changing Chunky finally, uh, the Camels. This said $1.59 forever. They finally changed this one. Why not change this one? Like, I, I don't know. Like normally I would say something. Like as most of you guys know, when I saw this stuff, when we went up to the price scanner and checked all the prices, you know, I said something. I told them, I'm like, hey, you guys know you got the wrong sticker on here because I don't want people to leave. And I don't want Target to get ripped off either. I really don't. We love Target for many other reasons other than groceries. But at the same time, I've told two managers a couple months ago and they haven't changed them. So I'm done with it. Uh, take a picture get it for that price they finally raised their nor pasta options here to the highest we've ever seen anywhere the highest was meyer at a dollar 35 now it's target dollar 39 wow boy that's crazy so like most stores target has taken down all of their jeff peanut butter but i think i think target just said you know what we're gonna get rid of all the peanut butter <laughs> because <laughs> they don't have any i mean they got a couple jars here good and gather of course got one thing a skippy there but yeah it's uh they don't have any peanut butter they do have some of the hazelnut spread and nutella maybe they're still getting that in i don't know but yeah, as far as peanut butter goes you know we haven't been eating peanut butter because you know we feel like as soon as we buy one there's gonna be another recall so many recalls this year it's been crazy salmonella in the jiff peanut butter dating back to October of 2021. I will probably never get Jif again. Uh, it's unfortunate, it's Jessica's favorite peanut butter, but she's pretty much in agreement with me. Okay, so we do notice since the last time we were here that their eggs, the Good and Gather eggs, have doubled in price. Not too surprised here. We've seen that a lot of the dairy and eggs have been doubling in price around Cincinnati here, but yes, they were 95 cents. These went up to $1.99. The funny thing, is these were $1.59 for the 18, and they went up to $3.39. So this was a great deal. Now, I don't know. It, I know this stuff has been kind of skyrocketing lately. One deal I will show, but again, take the take it with a grain of salt. Five uh, four ninety nine for a two pack of Philadelphia. Now we saw that these have gone up to three nineteen a brick, three dollars and nineteen cents for one eight ounce brick in a lot of places. Uh, it's two fifty nine here for one, just one. Um, but yeah, Philadelphia cream cheese is going up. Uh, we've heard a lot of people haven't even been able to find it. We saw this was an issue months ago. Been getting a lot of comments that people haven't been able to find unsalted butter. Um, we really haven't had that big of an issue with it. We saw where uh, they didn't have it at Kroger a couple weeks ago, but they had gotten it back in. These did go up here. These were $2.99, $3.19 for a four-pack unsalted butter and the salted butter. Uh, Land Lakes for the four pack is a little cheaper here than Meyer, which was five nineteen. We had some comments about Reynolds Wrap. I did point out the Reynolds Wrap that they had at Sam's Club the other day, which you know you do have to buy in bulk, but it is a much better deal in the long run. This is only fifty square feet here for four dollars. We saw at Kroger that this was four ninety nine, and people have been saying that it's been going up. So we're kind of expecting another price rise. This may be more here. I don't know. Who knows with the stickers. 
It's like, I know what stuff has gone up here because of the prices that were up from the last time we were here. So I know when they have a new sticker up. But when we see the same old stickers, it's like, well, the price is, it hasn't gone down. I mean, I guess it could have, but I'm not going to go checking all the prices on the scanner thing again. I would just take it up to the front and say, well, this is this price because I take a picture of it. I haven't had much of an issue. I heard that some people have, um, but, you know, around here, they have to give it to you for the sticker price as long as there is not an expiration date on that sticker. Looking at some of the ball mason jars here, uh, Target is a good option to find these. It's been one of the cheapest options, other than what some of you have said online you were able to get them. But uh, the problem, I guess, has been the lids. A lot of places you can't find the lids. They do sell the lids. I know somebody was asking for the wide mouth ones. These are the regular mouth lids and bands, but they do have these, 12 of them. Uh, let's see, $6.59, $4.69. Which one's which here? I don't know, they say the same the same thing. I don't know. Probably just have to run the scanner on this one, but it's two different prices, but it's for the same one. Oh, regular mouth. Okay, this is the lids and bands. Okay, that's what it is, 659. Didn't want to point out, somebody was talking about the vacuum zipper bags. They have them here, you get 18 of them for 989. Um, BPA free multi-layer protection they do have these here um, and they do have a lot of food saver products too uh, Kroger marketplace had a great sale on a lot of the food saver products I'm hoping they carry that sale over for another week I, I doubt they will but I'll tell you what that is the time to shop at Kroger when they have this stuff on sale food saver machine on sale for hundred and two dollars I mean, that was a great deal. I hope some of you guys bought that. I know some people are going to check it out. But they are getting more and more mason jars, too. So this is good to see. We've been having a lot of people uh, seeking out these. And they have a lot of the different added products and stuff like that, too, uh, here at Target. So make sure if you have a Target nearby, check it out. I know people can order these, this stuff online. But, you know, it's good, to, it's good to come in. Unless you know what you're going for already, it's good to come in and take a look at you know the kind of size you know you can look at this and say oh okay i can put so much of the uh, soup that i make in these and seal it up and freeze them you know what i mean like it it helps to look and see rather than just order online unless you already know what you're going for so i was just walking by here and i remember somebody was asking about the mr coffee iced coffee maker this is a iced and hot i guess somebody had asked about this i'd never seen it before 54.99 here at target uh, I know uh, somebody said they couldn't get it online either. So, yeah, check out Target. They got them here. Well, guys, that is all the time I have for Target today. Really stinks about the baby formula. Uh, sorry I went to that first. But, you know, I, I appreciate uh, the lady's heartfelt story. And, and that's, you know, an example of what's going on right now. You know, I mean, the, the people need to stand up and get this stuff on the shelves. This is unacceptable. Um even a lot of these crazy prices too here at Target, you know, I knew we would see them go up here at some point and who knows, they may have been there for a while and they finally just caught on to some of the stickers. Don't really know. Sorry, it's really windy out here, but guys, thank you so much for joining me today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.